So now my be wondering, which are Genshin Impact's most popular characters? Well, I did a bit of research and I can explain some of the most popular characters, or at least the most recognized characters. Also, just right before we start, I do gotta point out that only playable characters are allowed on this list. So characters like Mabuika and Dil Capitano, or even Il Dottore or Dainsleeve, they do not count. Alright, let's get into the video now. At number 10 we have Shao. Now, Shao is an adapter specifically, you know, from a group called Yaksha. He's an interesting individual, well more like a creature because he's an Adeptus, in other case he's also Zayak's favorite. Now it kind of makes sense on why Shao is so popular, I mean he kind of looks unique, has unique personality that relates very much for someone who is an Adeptus, someone who lived for thousands of years and he's an overall interesting character, so it makes sense on why he is so popular. At number 9 is my favorite character in the game. Zhongli. And I'm kinda happy. Well, I, it's not a surprise that he's so popular. I mean, not only he has the best demo in the game and pretty unique design, which is pretty good for someone who is a Rex Lapis, but he's also Rex Lapis himself, of course. Of course, he's gonna be goddamn popular. He's literally a god that lived for the longest, has experienced history and so much more. As for why I like him, well, it's because I love characters that are mysterious and have lots of lore, such as Zhongli. So Zhongli is popular for this because he has seen the history, he has lots of stories, and because of this he's my personal favorite character. And yeah, I also very much like him because of the demo they made on him. And number 8, I would say, is Hu Tao. Yes, I do believe that Hu Tao is a bit more popular than Zhongli. There's a lot of people who love Hu Tao because of her personality and, you know, for being creepy and her design and so much more so it makes sense i won't even blame them for the fact that they like a human more than the rex lapis himself either way hu tao is a pretty interesting character with a decent lore because you know that grandfather passing away and stuff and she's also adorable as heck so i guess that's another reason why people would put hu tao above zhongli at number seven we have the one and only Raiden Shogun. Now some of you might be surprised that she's not higher, but there are some six characters that I still find more popular. Either way, is that even a surprise? Is that even, do I need to explain this? When she came out, everyone was simping for her. Even till this day, people are still simping for her. Okay, but enough about simping. She's the Electro Archon herself, with an interesting backstory, you know, lore has so much to offer like she even has a second consciousness you know that puppet thingy because the real one is a puppet is Ryan Shogun you already know this makes her even more interesting and popular but at the same time she's also pretty hated due to the fact she has done a lot of horrible stuff when in the end it was all to protect the people within Azuma but still her being hated while loved at the same time makes her a controversial character speaking of being controversial at number 6 we have Tartaglia, one of the most, if not the most controversial character, because he is super hated, but at the same time super loved, which all makes sense because he is obviously a villain. He is one of the two harbingers, who literally came from the abyss and is now trying to conquer Tevet, trying to become as strong as possible. He's pretty much a jerk, but at the same time quite a joyful guy, but you know, villains also bring interest in the game, so it makes sense on why he is super hated but at the same time super love. Speaking of Fatui Harbingers, Wanderer, or also known as Karamush, is another Fatui Harbinger that's also been super powerful ever since he has been actually introduced. Not just when he came out, but ever since in Azuma he has been introduced. And when he came out he blew up even more because he has a great lore, you know, he has a great backstory that explains on why he is like this, why he's so cool and brutal and everything. It makes him a very interesting character. Same with Child and Ryan Shogun, hated but very loved and interesting. At number 4 we have Arlecchino. Wrapping up our Fertui Harbingers, I would say Arlecchino is the most popular. Because when she came out, damn, she was blowing up and like everyone was pulling for her. I mean sure, that's because she was trending back then but still, she's still pretty popular. Lots of people are interesting in her, like her design is sick, look at her eyes and her outfit and everything. And if that isn't enough, she still has some interesting backstory and is a pretty powerful Fatui Harbinger. The first female Fatui Harbinger as well that got playable. So it all makes sense on why, you know, everybody is after her. Another one that I would say 
blew up from Fontaine is Nuvolet, the Hydra Dragon himself. And I would say that he's still pretty popular, not just because of his lore, but because how how broken he is in gameplay. People just cannot, you know, survive without him. Ever since he came out, he kinda ruined all the other main DPS characters. He's basically a main DPS abuser, like, whenever you need to really clear a hard content, you would always go for Nuvolet over everybody else. You can even solo Nuvolet. Like, I would say that at least 50% of the players would have no problem even soloing hard content with Nuvolet. That's just how broken it is. In another case, yes, he's also a Hydra Dragon and the ruler of Fontaine. Not only because he's an ancient god, you know, because he's a Hydra Dragon, but also because he's, you know, Chief Justice of Fontaine. However, if there is anyone who is more broken than Nuvolet, is none other than Furina, the Hydra Archon herself. Like seriously, she is the most broken support unit and it's gonna be hard beating her. Any support unit that comes out will have a tough time beating Furina, you know? In her case, she's a Hydra Archon with a very interesting backstory and lore. Like come on now, we don't have to explain why she's popular. Although she's not really a Hydra Archon, because fossil horses and she's just a human. That still makes her even more interesting the fact that she's a separated being from the actual god, you know. Now just right before we get into number one, I do have a few honorable mentions. Starting with the most popular four star I could find, which is none other than Kaya. And guess what? This actually makes me very happy because Kaya is personally my favorite four star. Now I know I could put him in top 10 for this, but in reality he's still not in top 10 most popular. No 4 star comes to top 10 unfortunately. And yes, I know that this guy has very low usage rates, almost none. Probably mainly because he's a starter character. But I wouldn't really count usage rates as, you know, popularity measure because this is where just people are using the most broken characters to clear out the content when people can still like the character even if not playing it or just playing it outside of Spiral Abyss. Either way, it makes sense on why Kai is so popular, especially for a 4 star. It's the exact same reason on why I like him so much, it's because obviously he has such a fascinating yet dark and everything lore and his design is just amazing. Although he's also kinda hated, pretty controversial character as well due to the fact that he deceives people and acts so you know deceitful or secretive, however you wanna say it. But that makes him even more interesting and it brings even more reasons on why people should like a 4 star like him. Another one I would say that doesn't really come at top 10 but deserves some credit is none other than Alheita. In my opinion the most popular character from Sumeru. I think that he's even more popular than Nahita. Now personally, this makes me very happy because, well, the only reason why I like Nahita so much is because, well, his personality is very similar to mine, if not the same. However, as for why people like this guy so much, to be honest, I have got no idea, seriously. Maybe because people like it when Alhita and Kave argue. Maybe they just find him very cool because of his personality and everything, which I do. But whatever it is, if there is any character that actually blew up even more than Aralcino when they came out, it's Alheita, it's gotta be him. Like when this man came out, he was around Genshin Impact, everyone was talking about him, everyone was so excited for, you know, till he finally got released, to the point where people even talked more about him and he became even more popular than Nahida herself. Now last but not least, at number one we have none other than Keidehara Kazuha. I don't think that's a surprise to most of you. In the end, Keidehara Kazuha is literally a perfect character. He has a very chill personality, he's a very cool dude, has a pretty solid design, great lore, and is completely broken in gameplay. What else could you possibly want from him? Everybody loves this guy. I have never seen even a Keidehara Kazuha hater. He's literally just a perfect character, like, there is no actual real reason why I wanna hate this guy other than love him. So it makes sense why people like him so much and why he's so popular to the point it literally puts him in the number one spot. And those were the top 10, or well, kinda top 12, not really because the two of them were honorable mentions, but they didn't make it to top 10, but you get what I mean. Basically what I'm trying to say is that here were some of the most popular characters in the game and well, I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know if you agree with me on this list, if I missed anything or anyone. In other case, thanks for clicking on this video and paying attention, and without further ado, I will see you all in my next video. Till then, take care guys.